Alright, welcome to this video on reflection. Reflection basically just means that you are reproducing or you are making the same shape or the same coordinate in another part of a grid or another location. So you can see that I've started with a dot at uh, with an x-intercept of 6 and a y-intercept of 7. So, obviously I've just counted along 6 up here and then up this way and then found the 7 on the y-axis and drawn a dot where the two lines intercept, where the x and y lines intercept. Okay? Now, let's suppose that I wanted or I've, I ask you to reflect that, that dot in the x-axis. Well, that means that I'm asking you to use the x-axis, which is here, like a mirror. And I'm asking you, okay, if we have this point 6, 7, and then we hold a mirror up along the x-axis here, where would our point be on our grid here. Well, if this is the mirror here, and our point is here, then our dot, when it's reflected, needs to be, well, will be somewhere in that area there. And it's not that difficult to work it out. If it's a reflection, that means that it's going to still be on the 6, or it's going to still be at 6 on the x-axis. And we know that it's already 7 on the y-axis. So that means that it must be minus 7 on the y-axis if it's reflected. So we just draw our dot where those two intercepts meet, where the 6 on the x-axis and the y, uh, the, the line at uh, 7, uh, cross. All right. So the coordinates would be, it'll still be 6, but this time it'll be negative 7 for the y-intercept. And that's, a very, that's very basically how you do a reflection. Now, let's suppose I said, okay, take this, take this point here, 6, 7, and reflect it in the y-axis. Well, the y-axis is here, it's going down this way. All we would need to do is just make sure that we uh, remember that we counted over six spots on the x-axis. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if we're going to reflect that dot somewhere in this area here, we need to count over six this way. So it's going to be one, two, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to be up this way. And it's still going to be 7 because it's being reflected in the y-axis. We're, we're not moving it anywhere else. So we just simply need to find where these two lines intercept or cross. And that is where our dot would be reflected in the y-axis. Alright, and that's a very simple introduction to reflection. Good luck.